Hello and welcome everybody. This is Amy Howard with Amy's Web Design and Amy's Website Solutions. Today is our plug-in spotlight on WordPress Wednesday and our plug-in of choice today is Jetpack by WordPress.com. I've already installed Jetpack into my plugins area here and I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Now when you activate the Jetpack plugin, it wants you to connect it to WordPress.com. Now I already have a WordPress.com account. If you do not, you can go ahead and sign up for one. It's totally free. So once you click the button, it's going to um it's going to take it over to connect it. And we can go ahead and approve. And then we'll go back to my sites and let's go back to this site. I want to back, get back to the dashboard here. Alright, now one of the reasons I like Jetpack is because it has so many different features. Uh, and there's different ways you can get to the settings area. On the left hand side here you see that now Jetpack has shown up. You can go here to settings or you can go back to the plugins area and go to settings there. And they look different, so you're going to figure out which one you like the best. Now, when you inst when you install it and activate it, it looks like it comes with tons of features. These are just every feature that it can do. And some of them are already turned on. If it's in the light blue with the blue bar on the side, that means it's turned on. Real simple to deactivate a feature. All you have to do is click deactivate. And adversely, if you want to activate a feature, you just click activate. Now this one is a contact form. I like I like using a contact form now. I don't know if it's going to work for me on this one because I already have uh, Gravity Forms installed. But let's go see. I'm gonna I'm just going to create a post here. And as you can see, there's a new icon that comes up. It says add contact form. When you click on that, this light box, pop, light box pops out. And you can take away some fields. You can add a field. You can move them into any fashion you want. And then when you're ready to add it, just go ahead and click add the form. Now let's preview it and see what we got here. And there's the form that we actually have um, created today. We'll go ahead and publish that. So that was how to put in a contact form. Real simple. Now let's go over here and look at go to settings by going over here to the left. And you can see it is set up really differently. This one they set up into different categories. So let's see, we're going to go with engagement. Site stats is already turned on. When, when you have site stats turned on, what happens is in your dashboard, you'll have a box that says site stats. And it'll give you the stats for the last like 48 hours or something like that. And you can see it, w it was just installed, so there are no stats for us to look at right now. But it's a great way for you to keep track of how much traffic you're getting if for some reason you don't like using Google Analytics. So that is site stats. Uh, let's also go back to the settings here. And there's another one, site maps. I like this one because Sitemaps make it make the search make it easier for the search engines to index your pages. So all you have to do is turn it on. Now, I'm not going to turn it on because I I know I already have a sitemap. But if you do not have a sitemap, but you're not using a plugin for it, then all you have to do is activate it. So that one is that. Now there's another one I want to show you. I think it's under writing. Let's see. Custom content type. There it is. Custom content type. If you have um, 
some content that doesn't really belong into a post or a page then you can put it in a custom content type now this is really great for um, testimonials and portfolio so as you can see it's already activated but we do have to configure it so in order to configure it you have to check the box either enable testimonials for the site or portfolio projects for the site I'm going to enable testimonials and then save the settings now once I did that if we refresh the page on the left hand side here we got testimonials so we can add a new testimonial enter the customer's name here and then you could put the testimonial here I think that's a really cool feature back to the plugins so once again you can see that Jetpack comes with tons and tons of different features uh, they all do different things of course and if you don't know what one of the features is um, like it doesn't really make sense to you like beautiful math if you don't know what that means or comments if you don't know what that does then just click on the word itself and it'll show you what it is so comments replaces your default comment form with a new comment system that has integrated social media login options which that's pretty cool because it, out of the out of the box you get to do comments but people have to sign in uh, and if you if they don't want to create another account or a profile they can do it through Jetpack comments and just use their social media login option and I think that's a really cool option and you could see it also shows you what it would look like so here's what the what it would look like for people to leave a reply or a comment I think that's that's an awesome feature now that's all I really want to show you out of for Jetpack. Jetpack comes with tons and tons of features. You'll have to go through and figure out which ones you want to use and which ones you don't want to use. Um, but that's it for us today. Uh, have a great day.